Hello everyone, it's Luke here again. Um, it's been months since I last made my um, Age of Empires videos. Uh, welcome to all of you that um, uh, who are new to my to my to my channel and my videos. Uh, welcome back to those of you who have been following my Age of Empires videos over the last year. Um, so obviously with Skyrim coming out, I thought it'd be very appropriate for me to do Skyrim videos. So welcome to my first Skyrim video. I will be doing Skyrim videos daily for two weeks. Um, simply because it's such a new game and I would like to share my experiences with the game with you. Um, so right now I'm doing a offhand quest um, in retrieving Amran's family sword. So you see, it's there in Whiterun, which is the first city you discover and it's a red guard who just talks to you uh, and asks you to get his sword back. So there I did a bit of a power attack. So I'm using at the moment a sword and a shield and actually, that's a dragon. Uh, in Skyrim, there are lots of dragons. Sometimes they'll just circle around and they won't attack you, but um, sometimes they do come and attack you. It's worth saving if you see a dragon um, because some, it, it is quite possible for them to, to well, maul you. So I'm playing as a Nord. Um, my, his name is Ulrich. So he's like a sort of like a Viking adventurer, sort of smash everything up, sword, warhammers. <laughs> Hear the growl and I draw my sword. With force of habit. Uh, so as you can see, the landscape in Skyrim is just awesome. Um, so at the moment, I'm heading towards a, I think it's a cave of some kind, which is supposed to be full of bandits. So he got smashed because he's a bandit. Um, so obviously, don't pick up everything you see on bodies. You know, you have a little look through them. Definitely always pick up the coin unless you don't like picking up money. Uh, White River Watch. So it's just like a, a bandit camp, pretty much. So I'm so yeah, shielding from the arrows and you sprint. It makes it much harder to hit. And that's a finishing move. In Skyrim, uh, in close combat, um, you've, sometimes you do what's called a finishing move, where you automatically kill them in a spectacular way, as you saw there. Obviously, you have the rummage through things, barrels and so on. All right. And then I go. Uh, the cool thing about caves is you don't necessarily um, uh, enter via a door. You may just walk into the cave mouth entrance and it automatically puts you inside. So now you, I'm going to let you enjoy some combat and some action here. Rodolf? Is that you? Boss was looking for you, said he'd be up at the summit. Better not keep him waiting. I was going to kill this poor little old man, but I thought, no, that would be nasty. Look at his book. Nothing in it. Because he's blind. What was that? You see here, I'm fighting on a bridgeway. It means they can only attack me one at a time. And there is another awesome finishing move. Finishing moves, I think, add a, a whole other dimension to close combat. In Oblivion, the close combat was fun, but in Skyrim, what they've done is they've made it far more dynamic um, and a chance to kill your opponent in one hit. So now I'm going to switch to my Warhammer, my Dwarven Warhammer. So I, I'm only level 8. I haven't been playing for that long. I think I've done about 9 hours worth. My brother's done 24. Um, but... This um, this Warhammer is one hit kill on most things, depending on what difficulty you play on. Um, it may be worth for uh, if you're a beginner, go into game settings and change it to Apprentice. It means it's a little bit easier to kill things, uh, and you don't get mauled by everything. So I'm being shot at right now, so I'm gonna go and clobber his head. Like the and also there's blood on the weapons. Like that. Tell you what, you start running, or I can snap you in the back. So now I'm just going to go through and loot the bodies. Uh, it may be worth um, also, after a combat with a few people, don't try looting every single body um, all at once, you know, by, you know, as you kill them, uh, because it's real time, so you could be clobbered by 
to somebody when you're checking a body. Which is realistic. And someone's got a wolf in there, I'm not sure why. It's probably a pet. I was going to let it out, but I don't have any lockpicks. The terrain in Skyrim is awesome. Um, depending on what graphics you're playing on, for people whose computers are relatively new, um, it shouldn't be a problem. For computers that are a little bit older, it may be worth getting a better video card. So hey, look into that. If your game's all jerky, then you need a new one. There's someone there. That was another finishing move. And so as you can see, the Warhammer is a very, very deadly weapon. Hey, steal for the first time. Now another thing, you don't get over encumbered like you did in Oblivion. Now for those of you who don't know what over encumbered means, it means you're carrying too much and you can't move. Whereas in Skyrim, if you carry too much, you can't run or quick travel. Which pretty much means that um, you need to drop stuff so you're underneath your um, carrying limit. For me, it, I can carry 300 worth of whatever, whatever everything weighs altogether. And there's the chest, and there's the family sword. So grab everything else first, then the sword. Excellent, and there it is. Okay, and now it's um, time to return to Whiterun. And uh, he's, I think he promised you um, to train you in something for free. So we go back into Whiterun and collect the reward. But yeah, this is just my first video. Um, little little introduction, letting everyone know what I'll be doing in the future. Also, just a bit of combat. Um, tomorrow's video, I will probably be doing some, um, probably some more combat, but I'll do a bit of magic as well. Talk a bit about that, maybe a bit of shooting, uh, as in archery. Um, so here we are, the map is different map, obviously, than in, Blu in Oblivion. It's three-dimensional, so you can see the mountain ranges, and it's a lot better. So having a little look around, I forgot where he was. I think he's up here, yes. So he's up he's up around here. He usually stands around at the staircase. Gotta keep my eyes open. And there he is at the top of the stairs. Come to chat with an old woman, hmm? Do your you tried mercenary work? You found it. I've been looking for that blade for months. You took on all those bandits yourself? Thank you. Here. My father had a favorite sword and shield technique. Let me teach it to you in honor of his memory. So they are one-handed increased and block increased. That's excellent. It is, it's very quick. That took me seven minutes to do. Um, so obviously it's, you know, especially seeing as most of us, well, some of us are a lower level um, because it's so new. It's worth doing. Um, yeah, anyways, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this,